Hello everyone! For this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you guys through a basic WordPress Site Shaper installation from Shape5, so let's get started. I'm going to bring up all my windows. As you can see here, I've already downloaded the Site Shaper package from Shape5. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Aurora Dawn theme for WordPress. I'm going to extract this file, so what I want to do is double click on it. There's my WordPress file. To extract it, I'm simply going to drag and drop it into my downloads folder. And there it is. Close that window. I'm going to click on this. And there you see I have all my files for this install ready to go. So what I want to do now is transfer these files to my server via my FTP client. For this tutorial, I'm going to use FileZilla. You guys can use whatever FTP client you like. As you can see here, I already have my di directory selected. I'm going to be uploading it to my root folder, which is going to be www. For some of you guys, this may be called public underscore HTML. Either way, it is the root. You can also upload to a subfolder if you wish, but make sure that your desired directory is selected before you begin your upload. Now to transfer these files, I'm just going to select them all and I'm going to drag and drop them into my FTP client like so to start my transfer. Now I'm going to go to my browser and see I have PHP my admin already open. I'm going to now create a new database for WordPress. So I'm just going to call it WordPress and I'm going to go ahead and create that database by clicking the create button. There my files have already finished. Now as you can see my database for WordPress has been created. Next I'm going to go up to the privileges tab and I'm going to click on that. Now click add a new user. Now I'm going to assign a new username and password for my WordPress install. For this tutorial I'm simply going to call it username. Our host is going to be local. If you, don't if you guys don't have a drop down menu like this, simply type in localhost. Assign a password. You can choose whatever password you wish. Just make sure that it is unique and you can remember it. Now I'm going to grant my privileges for this user. We want to make sure that the option selected is grant all privileges on database WordPress. If that isn't selected, go ahead and select that. And when you're finished, scroll down and click the Go button. Now you see that you have successfully added a new user. So we're done with PHP My Admin for now. Open a new tab and navigate to your directory. Here it's localhost slash www for me, but you guys will navigate to whatever web directory that you've chosen to upload your files to. It could be your root, which is just a .com or .net or whatever you have, or it could be a subfolder. But either way, navigate to that. And I just had to reload my page because I already had it open, but you guys probably won't. And here you'll see that there isn't a config.php file. Well, we're going to create one right now. So click create a configuration file. Now WordPress is going to ask you if you have already created your database, and we did. WordPress is going to tell you that it's going to need from you the database name, the database username, password, and host, and a table prefix. So we've already done all that. So click the Let's Go button. Now you enter your database name, which is going to be WordPress. The username we assigned to WordPress, which was simply username. Password in this case is password. Our host is local, so we type in localhost. And our table prefix is going to be WP underscore. This is the default. You can change it if you want, but it isn't necessary. And for this tutorial, we're simply going to leave it as the default. Click Submit. All right, Sparky. WordPress says you're ready to run the install. So click on the Run the Install button. Now WordPress is going to ask you for some more information. Here you're going to enter your site title, which can be whatever you want. 
but for this tutorial we're simply going to call it Shape 5 Demo. Now you're going to create your username and password for logging into the WordPress dashboard. Here we're just going to leave it the default admin and we're going to create a password for ourselves. Make sure that your password is something that you can easily remember but is also unique and preferably a strong one. This thing will turn green and say strong if your password's good. Type in your email address. Obviously here I'm using a fictitious email address. You guys want to make sure that when you actually do this install, please enter a real email address. Now you'll see two checkboxes. One is to allow your sites to appear in a search engine like Google. We're going to uncheck that for now since we don't want the demo to appear in Google just yet. But we are going to check the second checkbox, which is install demo content from Shape 5. We do want that. So check it and click install WordPress. Success. WordPress has successfully installed with the Shape 5 demo content and it gives you your username, which is admin, and your chosen password. Now click log in. Now we're going to go ahead and log in with our username and password. Log in. You'll see the directory has changed to WP Admin, which will take us directly to the WordPress dashboard. Once there, you'll see this little yellow bar across the top, which says that the latest version of WordPress is available. Please update now. Go ahead and click that link, and WordPress will take you to this WordPress updates page. This little box says before updating please back up your database and files. Since we just created a brand new database with nothing in it, we're not going to have to worry about this. So go ahead and click the update automatically button. WordPress will give you the status on its updates. Again, depending on your connection speed, this could take a minute. and then it will prompt you to go to the dashboard. Go ahead and click the link. And now you're back at the dashboard and you have the latest version of WordPress installed. Now we're going to go over to Appearance to the left hand side and click on that. Here you have the default themes, widgets, menus, and editor. But for this install, we have a new option, which is Shape 5 Aurora Dawn Options for the template. Click on it. And here you should see all your options for the Aurora Dawn settings for the Site Shaper. We're not going to worry about these right now, as they'll be covered in future tutorials. Instead, go up to the top left-hand corner of the screen and click the title of the, t of the theme. And WordPress will then take you to your site, complete with all the site shaper content you need to customize your theme. Got your menus, your text, your images, and all the awesome features included in a Shape 5 theme.